Hello. Hello, my brothers and sisters in Christ. My name is Jeff Forster, and welcome to the Tribulation Institute. You know, what I want to talk to you today about is going to be a difficult pill for the large majority of you, not the ones that are subscribers to my website, I mean a YouTube channel, but to all the rest of you. Look at this. Isn't this a beautiful day? It's in the mountains, it's in the clouds. So anyway, this upcoming Feast of Trumpets, and uh, which, and I'll just tell you, which is the 30th of September. Uh, I don't go by the Jewish calendar, I go by Yah's calendar above, the creator of all things. And I know that uh, there's a lot of videos out there, as there has always been, well not always, but the last few years, but especially now. Why now? Because most people that believe in a pre-tribulation rapture believe that Christ can come at any time, uh, but also, uh, they also teach that he's going to come probably on the Feast of Trumpets, which may well be, but it ain't going to be this Feast of Trumpets, because the Bible is clear that there are many things that have to happen before he returns, so the imminency of Christ's return has always been a false doctrine. But nevertheless, let me move forward. Um, go. Why you say September 30th? Because the months start by the new moon, which is not the slither. That's what uh, false. That's what. Uh, Judaism teaches, which is false. The beginning of the month is the moon, moon, the month. And it's the full moon. You have to go back to creation when our God, Yahweh Elohim, Elohim mean pearl, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. They're all one. They all come from the Father. When he created on the fourth day, when he created the moon, he created in his fullness as he did man. Perfect. And the moon's not perfect as a little slither or when it's black. It is perfect and his perfection is in his fullness. And that's a full moon. That is the new moon. It was new when he created it, and he created it in his fullness. And if you don't believe that, then get into the Word of God and study it to show yourself approved. That was on the fourth day. Now, of course, we know that on the seventh day he, re he rested. So, uh, getting back to the moon, and which is the beginning of the month, and there's 12 of them throughout, and there's 30 days b b between them. Uh... I know that's 360, but that's a different story. God says that the Feast of Trumpets is the first day of the seventh month. So you have to determine which is the first month. And we all know that in the springtime, that's when everything comes to life. It's the story of life, the creation of life. It started in the springtime. And that's when the sun coming up in the east and the moon, or the sun setting in the west and the moon coming up in the east at the exact same time. And they've got computers. You can go online and, and see that for yourself. The f the f 
that's the first month when that moon begins to rise. Of course, three days later is the Sabbath, so you got to add four to that to get to the Sabbath. But nevertheless, back to my my thought here. So we don't go by the Jewish calendars, which is named. I mean, I mean, give me a break, Tammuz. You know, the reborn, the father reborn is a son. That's Nimrod and Tammuz. It's in the Bible, folks. It's in Genesis. You need to study to show yourself approved instead of listening to a bunch of false pastors and the false churches you continue to go to. And I'll address that in another video. I have, but I'll do it again. Why? Because times are serious. We need to get on God's calendar. We need to do this right, folks. So anyway, this next full moon, which is the new moon, which will be on the night of the 29th, means the next day is the Sabbath. And that's the 30th of September. And that's the beginning. And that is the Feast of Trumpets. So now that we've established that, and you can study it out to show you, don't, don't, just don't uh, say no for no reason because you don't like what it says. That's the problem with most believers. So, is, is there many videos out there that are going around that he's going to come to this Feast of Trumpets? Well, I don't care what day, this, whether the, the Jews celebrated on, on the day or by God's calendar, he's not coming on neither one of them this year nor next year nor the next year nor the next year how about seven years be 2030 well know the day know the hour so but without that so anyway no he's not coming back you know the feast of trumpets have been only announce that the last trump the seventh trump will announce his coming it's also for the watchmen to announce that there's trouble trouble coming and those that are wise and prudent according to proverbs that will see trouble coming they do the necessary thing what's the trouble coming well that's a different video but that's one of the, it, and also let me say this this is real simple folks and when i say folks i'm talking about you believers okay the ones that are going to churches, thinking that Sunday is, a, you know, the Sabbath is done away with, and it ain't Saturday. That the Sabbath is done away with, and we, you know, Monday is a new day. That that's the day. That's a bunch of that's a bunch of hogwash from religion. Look, I graduated from Bible school back in 1985 with four years. Okay, it ain't that I don't know what I'm talking about, and I was taught from those false churches. Look, I was saved, so I'm in it. It ain't that the God that Yahweh can't work in the church; it just isn't. His church is us, built without hands. Those buildings that we go to don't mean you can't go to a building. But I'm getting off track. To those of you that are still in them churches, I came out of it. A few years after I became a preacher, so forth, and started teaching the pre-tribulation rapture, which is what I and everybody else has taught at all the institutions, Christian institutions. You know, Daniel was told that uh, to go to go thy way, and at the end of days, okay, he would stand, okay. Uh, well, Daniel's gone. The end of days. What is the end of days? Those is a timeline, okay? But when you go into eternity, there, there are no more end of days. Time is actually done away with you in eternity. Time is linear. Point A and point B has a beginning, has an end. Eternity has no end. And so the end of days is the last day. And the Lord's day is clear in the Bible. Look it up. It's very simple. It says it's on the last day. It ain't seven years before. There ain't two comings. The, he comes down. Second Thessalonians, First Corinthians, fifteen fifty one. Those that are dead are called up first, and those of us who remain alive are called to meet him in the air. And then he comes on down to Armageddon, the last day. Don't know what hour. But it ain't the same day around the earth, okay? Uh, nevertheless, 
It's the last day. Matthew 24 says, you know, the, 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 there'll be great tribulation that will come. He says, after the tribulation of those days, you see that the rapture, which is another word for the resurrection slash resurrection, there's only one. Well, that's the first resurrection that you do want to take, uh, take part of. So, I pray. Here's what you need to do. Instead of just hee-hawing me and telling me I'm wrong after studying this for 40 years. Now, I've only studied the truth. Listen, the Bible says if, if you do not love the truth, he's going to send you strong delusion that you're going to believe a lie. So, if you love the word, you love the truth, then you will do what the Bible says. Study. Study it. Don't read it. Study it. And you don't read it to reinforce what your pastor or what you've been taught or read in a book. You got the Holy Spirit if you're saved. He's the teacher. He'll teach you. Yes, he'll use some pastors, but only pastors that are teaching his word. And you'll find out. So I pray. So pray this. Pray this, Father. I pray that you would reveal to me the truth concerning your word concerning the rapture. And if you sincerely pray that prayer, you'll do it. So, you need to subscribe if you haven't already done. Click the description box or the more button. Probably the more button, which will be down below. And uh, share this with others. And come to my YouTube channels. that will lead you to my websites. And you can study, it'll help. But most of all, listen to the Holy Spirit, okay? To not what you want or what you think is best, but what the, His Word says. I love you and hope to see you next time and have a nice day.